to to uh, uh, bring the world into the church. Mm -hmm. You know, well, I don't care what they show. This way, I'm gonna do it, man. I, yeah. I tell that preacher, I tell that that deacon, mm -hmm. I tell that usher. Yeah. You know, you, we supposed to be with meek and love. You know what I mean? You get our point of court, if, if we, uh, the point of cross, and we know that we write about something, yeah. just like you were saying, it's the way that you present it. Right, you know? right, that's and, right. And, and uh, you don't have to revenge uh, because you know you write, uh, you know, come the wrong way. Mm -hmm. Because when you come the wrong way, you ain't going to win the walk. Amen. You know, you ain't going to win the battle. Right. Now, you, you might have the right tool to win it with. But if you do it the wrong way, I don't care what you got. It's like a police officer, and, and, and a lot of police gonna go and arrest somebody. They, you know, they sit down sometimes it take four and five hours for them yes. to, yes. to figure out how they gonna get in that house yes. and, and, and where that they think the man got the guns on, mm -hmm. what he might have, what he might not have. Right. You see right. what I mean? Before they go in there. They just don't rush in. No. That's what we ask Christians, you know, we, we must think over a matter before we speak. Yeah. Before Amen. we do. You see what I mean? Right. And we're gonna help somebody, then we ought to be prepared to be able to help them right. and not just rushing in. That's right. Mm -hmm. You know, that's that's what it's all about. Amen. Yeah, I'll tell you this thing got good. Getting good, me. getting good. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead now. Oh my god. Mm, that's oh, good. Let's look at some ten. Then we're gonna stop here, y'all. You know. Uh, uh, while we're looking, I want to say this is that David showed his mind as God to destroy his enemies. Yeah, because it was a different type, because one reason is, it was a war. I don't know, he was fighting physical. That's what I'm saying, right. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's what I tell people all the time. It's, it's the way you understand the Bible, right? You right. know, because a lot of people say, man, just all you got to do is just tell God. No, you tell God to bless your enemy. Right. Yeah, yeah. 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 right. Now, yeah. that's it. You pray for him. Yeah. And, and that's right. right. And God said, make your enemy be your footstool. Right. Right. Yeah. But, but, but they was in a war. Right. They was in a bloody war. That's right. It's yeah. a whole lot different when you're in a bloody war. Right. You said, I mean, yeah. 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 Amen. Can't you know, sleep because you're your enemy. Now, now that's it. That's right. That's what I'm saying. A whole lot different, you know. Okay. And, and, and when we read that, see what it is to show us how God brought them through. Yeah. You saw I me mean, because God blessed them to be able to win them walks. That's yeah. true. But when they were disobedient, they didn't win. They sure that's what I'm saying. You you can't win the walk being disobedient with God. That's what God true. said, do you got to do it His way. Mm -hmm. That's right. Because He delivered them in the hands of other people about three times. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. By being disobedient. Mm -hmm. That's what right. mm -hmm. I say. You got to do it right. Okay. You know, uh, man. I, I'm just gonna read. Y'all read just you know, read the one verse, and then we're gonna close here. Okay. Of the tenth chapter. That's the question. You got to read more than one verse. Come, yeah, come on, read. It's going to come out. <laughs> yeah. Where do you want to start? Yeah, start in the first verse. Okay. Uh, ten. Ten. Why, why standest thou afar off, O Lord? Why, how, why hidest thyself in times of trouble? The wicked in his pride doth persecute the poor. Let them be taken in the devices that they have imagined. For the wicked boasters of his heart's desire and blesses the covenants whom the Lord abhorreth. The wicked through the pride of his countenance will not seek after God. God is not in all his thoughts. His ways are always grievous. Thy judgments are far above out of his sight. As for all his enemies, he puffeth he puffeth at them. <laughs> he hath said in his heart, I shall not be moved, for I shall never be an advert an adversity. His mouth is full of cursing and deceit and fraud. Under his tongue is mischief and vanity. He sitteth in the lurking places of the villages. In the secret places doth he murder the innocent. His eyes are, pri privately, are privately set against the poor. He lieth in wait secretly as a lion in his den. He lieth in wait to catch the poor. He doth catch the poor when he draws him into his net. He crouches and humbleth himself that the poor may fall by his strong ones. He has said in his heart, God hath forgotten. He hideth his face, he will never see it. Arise, O Lord, O God, lift up thine hand, forget not the humble. Wherefore doth the wicked condemn <coughs> wherefore doth the wicked contemn God? He has said in his heart, Thou wilt not require it, thou hast seen it. For thou beholdest mischief and spite, to require it with thy hand. The poor committeth himself unto thee. Thou art the helper of the fatherless. Break, break thou the 
arm of the wicked and the evil man. Seek out his wickedness till thy find none. The Lord is king forever and ever. The heathen are perished out of his land. Lord, thou hast heard the desire of the humble. Thou wilt prepare their heart. Thou wilt cause thy ear to hear. To judge the fatherless and the oppressed, that the man of the earth may no more oppress. Uh, man, that, that's that's him there. Mm -hmm. See, see, <laughs> man, God is so grateful. Yes, He's so loving. Mm -hmm. He always have take care of the poor. Mm -hmm. Now you didn't know that too, yes. yeah. because the poor always picked on. That's right. You know what I mean? Right. The, the poor always uh, distressed and, mm -hmm. and 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 and, and uh, you know always the one that people come after. Yes. That they can't afford to do nothing about. More yes. poor people house been taken yes. than, than rich folks because rich folks they work with them. Right. Okay. right. We see it right now in these days of time. Mm -hmm. A lot of poor people think of that 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 the government had gave money to help them. Mm -hmm. But then nobody helped them. All right. Because the rich were looking out to say, well I can get his house and I can make a, a big you. amount of money on mm -hmm. right. You saw me. But the rich man he just make a phone call. So man, I, I need some time. Yeah. Poor man, he made phone calls and don't get back the answer. Right. Mm -hmm. You see what I mean? Right. So so it's just good to have God on all our side. Amen. You see what I mean? That's right. Because that's the only help that we can get is through God through his grace. That's right. Because if we didn't have him, then we wouldn't even have a church on the chance. Yeah, we we'll would have a chance. If we didn't have him, we would have no way uh, of communicating. Mm -hmm. You saw me because That's right. but God through God through his grace he gives us the opportunity to That's reach right. the world. That's right. Amen. Amen. Most time that you have to have a lot of money to be able to be on yeah. TV, yeah. Uh, on internet or anything yeah. that you is doing for God. That's right. Amen. But God fixed his soul. Amen. You That's see what I mean? That's God blessed us to be able to to put us on YouTube and other places. Amen. Amen. You see what I mean? God bless us to be able to, to reach folk that need to be reached that can't hear nobody else. Right. You know, nobody else is, is, is talking to them. Right. You know, talking over their head. You know, making it seem like you got to have money to be a Christian. That's right. Mm, that's okay. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Y'all know I know what I'm talking about. Right. Yeah. You know. <laughs> Amen. It makes you feel like you ain't got no money. You ain't you not welcome in that house. Mm -hmm. You better know it. That's, that's good teaching. teaching. I know what you're talking about. That's what I'm saying. What I'm saying. Mm -hmm. But God fixed it so. That when he said, whosoever will come, let, you know, he, he didn't say, well, whosoever will, the rich, come on. Yeah. That's anybody yeah. that want to be saved yeah. can be saved no matter what they have. Yeah. That's the kind of law that we say. Yeah. So by his grace, yeah. nothing but grace, y'all. Yes, sir. Amen. That's what we're living on today. Right. Faith, if you ain't got no faith, you ain't going to gain any, anything. You know, we got to have some faith. We got to have faith in God. We got to have faith in ourselves. You see what I mean? That, that we can do something for our Lord and our Savior and be able to bless His people. Amen. If I haven't said anything, I want the people to know this much. You need God in your life. Thank you. <laughs>